So for this worksheet, I really want students to get used to using Newton's second law. And so as you can see, the first problem is pretty straightforward. It gives them a net force and a mass, and they just find the acceleration. Um, in two and three, students are asked to use the information of velocity and time to find the acceleration, and then use the other information, either mass or net force, to find the remaining um, variable. For number four, you can see I give them two different forces, and so they need to make a quantitative force diagram first so they can see that the applied force and the friction go in opposite directions. So in order to get the net force, you must subtract them before finding the acceleration. Number five is probably the most difficult problem in the entire page. Um, students have a little bit of trouble making the, the force diagram first, and so um, that's uh, something that they try to think about um, and um, where a lot of problems arise because they don't know where to put the 250 and how do I find the, the different forces and things like that. And it's not asking them to find a specific number, it's asking them do they stay in the bag or not. So they're used to finding problems where they um, it's just find this answer. So it's a little bit more difficult for them. Um, number six is... Um, a similar situation to um, number four uh, where they have a force and another force going the opposite direction and a mass so they need to make a force diagram. Number seven is also a little bit difficult for them because it's very conceptual so when it asks you to <clears throat> determine the acceleration of the system um, that's a little bit difficult for them. I just tell them to treat, if they want to, put in one a value of one kilogram for each mass. Um, this, this problem really connects to their lab, and so um, I reframe this question at the beginning, just telling them, remember when we did this in the lab, our net force had to do with the amount that was hanging down here, and so you would do the amount of mass times the acceleration due to gravity to find the weight, and that would be the net force on the situation, and so that helps them a little bit to um, actually be able to answer this question a little bit more effectively.